Cops are like. There you go. Keep going under your arm too. I've never been in water that cold before. Like, I've been close in some, the midst of your river in like, and end of April, some cold fucking shit. But like, that was, like, when your chest goes under, your whole lungs just fucking collapse. Like, <sighs> I can't feel my toes. Reminds me of back when I was like 17, running around with the camera, like fucking getting naked in the snow. That's what I'm talking about. I'm old now. You can't lose that childlike wonder, Brian. I know. I have the wonder, but the will to do it is kind of tough. You'll know when you're 27. I'm 26. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? So we're gonna go hike some waterfalls right now, but first I'm gonna show you guys what we got for food at the grocery store. We got a ton of really amazing stuff. Right, Brian? Yeah, dude. <laughs> you wanna come step in my office? Step into my office. Dude, come, on. come step in my office over here. Show us what we got going on here. This is my office. All right. These are vegan chili meals. Two servings per container, 600 calories, so like, this is really, you can eat this yourself, and like, that's plenty for a meal, honestly. Like, 600 calories, that's, that's pretty darn good. So, I like to make these at home, too, because they're pretty freaking good. I'll add more beans and veggies to them. Then we got some Cuban coconut black beans and rice. I haven't tried this one, but it's plant-based, gluten-free, two one quarter cups of water, 15 minutes. Put it in boiling hot water in here, stir it up, zip it, let it sit, Stir it again, let it sit, and then you got a delicious meal. I've had this one, just had this one last week in Alaska. This is actually some pretty freaking good pad thai. It is kind of weird, there's a little packet of peanut butter in there, and then also peanuts. You throw those in there, mix it all around, yeah, but it's super good. Same type of process for making it. How many calories, 460? Per serving, and there's two in here, so oh, that's yeah. like 920, math. <laughs> but yeah, 20 grams of protein per serving. So that's, I was eating the whole thing of this. It's 40 grams of protein, like, and it's plants. So that's dope. We also got this one I haven't tried yet. Three Sisters Stew. Brown rice, quinoa, corn, black beans, zucchini, and hatch green chili. This is gonna be probably decently spicy. Again, pretty high calorie, plenty of vitamins and minerals. Wow, a lot of iron. That's that beans in there. And they say it's hard to get iron on a vegan diet. Calf mandu curry. Lentils, rice, potatoes, peas, carrots, and curry seasoning. This is, I can just tell it's gonna be delicious. I'm pretty excited to try this one out. Same process. It's got even more iron in this one, and a good amount of potassium. Don't be scared of carbs. Carbs are your friend. Carbs are fuel. So these are all just like to-go meals. Uh, we're gonna be camping for several days, like dispersion camping. So we're gonna need like really small, but like high calorie meals to like sustain us through our trip. So that's why we went to REI and got like all these like small to-go meals. Like you just like add water basically and it cooked, it like absorbs and cooks in the bag. We went to the grocery store, got in trouble for filming, which we weren't supposed to. Talked to a really cool guy named Dylan. He's a legend. He wants to go vegan or he's trying to go vegan and he's, I, I can't stop thinking about the interaction actually. It was uh, amazing. But anyways, I'm, I'm gonna show you, show you what's in here. We have garbanzo beans. We also had a can of black beans, but we already went into that. Some blueberries, antioxidants. Good for oatmeal. Bananas, waiting for them to get ripe. We got five bananas. Got a bunch of potatoes. We also had a sweet potato that we cooked yesterday. But now we got some mini babies. Rusty boys. Shit ton of cliff bars. And, ooh, here we go, here we go. The king of them all. Tofurky sausage, amazing. Look at this. Ooh, baby. Yeah, there we go. 
Italian flavored. Is Italian a flavor? It's got a lot of protein, 23 grams of protein per link. So the reason why you should get this instead of actual pig flesh is because pig flesh is animal cruelty and pigs are lowered into gas chambers and you don't want to be supporting that kind of disgusting animal cruelty. Plus, it's not going to be good for your health. There's a, a lot of cholesterol, saturated fat, and hormones, antibiotics. These animals are just suffering and that's not something you want to be supporting. So get the plant-based sausage. Plants. I don't know what it is about this trip, but like, I just had a Cliff Bar and I was like, dude, this is like the best Cliff, cliff Bar I've ever had in my life. And now I'm eating these sausages and I'm like, these are like the best sausages I've ever had in my life. Biologically aligning yourself with how humans are meant to live. Sometimes when you take away from things, you add a lot more to it. That's it, they're just about done. Potatoes and sausages, what a great camping meal, right? What are potatoes, hobbitses? Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Quick little pro tip. Get yourself a little little cutlery bamboo set. I got this one from Anonymous for the Voiceless. Check it out. Now that we're done lunching and munching, let's go do some pepping and stepping. Pepping and stepping. Let's go! We're kind of just uh, doing all the typical touristy things, seeing all the beautiful waterfalls. We are going to go into the deep wilderness pretty soon. We're going to go camping. I'm going to die. Just kidding. Well, something I feel very often is I go back and forth between there's hope in the world and we're all fucked. I don't like taking the everyone's screwed approach. Sometimes I feel like that because I feel like just me as an individual, like what I can do is so insignificant. But I don't wanna be like a defeatist. I don't wanna be like not trying to make things better, you know what I mean? So this is why I promote veganism so much. Cause it alleviates so many different problems in the world, like more than any typical person would think. And it's all because of the way that we view animals and the way we treat animals. If we took animal abuse seriously, we wouldn't have uh, as much of a climate issue we wouldn't have a pandemics issue. We wouldn't have um, as much of a world hunger issue. We wouldn't have as much human exploitation issues. It all comes down to the fact that when we exploit others, it causes us to suffer as well. That's what I'm thinking. made it to the Lost Creek campground. It is right on the base, basically, of Mount Hood. And tomorrow we're gonna hike the Yukoma Ridge Trail up to Mount Hood, and it's gonna be amazing. It's about seven o'clock right now, and Brian is gonna make some coffee. Let's go.
coffee drinker <laughs> um, it's very bitter <laughs> it smells really good I just I'm not a coffee drinker and what it like whenever I have coffee let it's me, just like so let me teach you a thing smell it it's kind of sweet smelling it's only got a slight bitterness it's actually quite sweet this is a sweet cup of coffee almost like like note of, note of cherry. Thai. It's a uh, vegan plant-based um, that we showed earlier in the video. We're just gonna get these things going. Basically you just dump boiling water in it, but this we'll show you the packets inside in a minute here. Some dry noodles. The chunky stuff is actually just like seasoning kind of crusted together. Peanuts. True lime. Just some lime seasoning. And then of course some peanut butter also vegan always look for this V this is the spicy part this is what's gonna make it really delicious seal it, wait eight minutes, stir it again, 
seal it, and wait seven minutes. All right, so it's been 18 minutes. Um, I've had this before and it's delicious. Tyler has not, so we're gonna kind of see what he thinks about it as well. Worker spoon. Always spoon. Bamboo cutlery. It might still be really hot inside too, so be careful. Okay, it's gonna be really hot. I'll mix it up. Give it a mix up. Give it a good mix up. Damn, yeah, this is really there's a lot in there. So good. I really like how flavorful it is. Wow. I'm glad I didn't put half the spice in because it's really spicy. I put all you the put spice the full in. Spice in? I put the full spice in. I don't know how in. you're doing that, bro. 